I stare into the septic eye, and the septic eye stares back. Hey guys, welcome back to Subnautica. Welcome back. Exactly, Jack. So, today, we're gonna be mainly focusing on upgrading our stuff, because that's really what we should do. And I really want to get this ultra-high capacity tank. I also want to get the ultra glide fins. I also want to upgrade the Seamoth, which I have to go back into the thing. But I also need a bunch of stuff to make the well we need the enameled glass which we have one of the stalker teeth already which is nice but this we need lithium a lot of lithium actually we need a absolute shit ton of lithium which means we're gonna have gonna be heading back to the to the one place you know where the lithium roamed free uh that being said do i actually have oh i have some lithium on me oh I had another magnetite! Oh my god, yes! Now I don't have to go into the mushroom biome! Victory for me! Holy shit! That is amazing. Thank god. Because <laughs> that would have sucked. Alright, there you go. So, I really just need the lithium. Hang on, did I have no lithium? Oh, I have a bit more lithium here. Is that actually enough? Oh man, that'd be, that'd be awesome if that's enough. I don't think it's quite enough. Oh, it's enough for that. I'll do that, sure. <laughs> there we go. I don't care in what order I do them in, so... Nice! I had this stuff on here already, I didn't realize. How much is that going to give me now? Oh my god! 225 oxygen! Hot damn! Alright, well... Oh my god, I can do that too? Holy shit. Do I actually have the silicon rubber though? Or was that something I was gonna go out and get? Oh no, I have that. Oh, mate. Mate. We are getting upgrades. Oh man, I thought I was gonna spend most of the episode finding the stuff for this. Like, honestly, enhances swim speed considerably by comparison to the regular fins. Nice, nice. All right, so next up, okay, so Plasteel ingot, which was two lithium. So we're still going to have to go and get lithium. That's fine, though, because we are ready and prepared. Uh, and then... Whoop. And we go. <clears throat> then we can make sure that this thing is ready to go into the blood kelp. Because that's kind of where I want to go. I kind of do want to go into the blood kelp area. Uh, that being said, actually, uh, there were some... Okay, there were some data logs that I received when I was in the mushroom biome that I haven't actually uh, read or listened to yet. Um, I'm being pushed around. <laughs> uh, what would it be in? Oh, uh, here we go. This, uh, Yeah, here we go. Let's have a listen. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decision? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. People always do. I mean... You're not wrong. In a world where money is... is key, people gotta earn their way, you know? <laughs> Let's face it. Alright. So yeah, I don't know in which order I got some of these. Some of them... Well, that's interesting then, because that means that the stuff that I'm getting from the base below was a continuation of the some of the ones I got on the island. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, chief. Water leaking through the hull. Water outside the hatch. We're drowning. Slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. Do you see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same, and I have an idea you two are gonna follow. But if you do, be mindful. 
Your authority stopped at sea level. Oh. It's getting out the big guns. All right, how much space have I got? Not a lot, so I should probably uh, kind of limit it. All right, so next one. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida is useful. So... It's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever not that the Ghazi out of the sky of won't course. do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, they'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> Dang. So... I guess this makes sense. They have technology where you can practically live to like 160 by replacing body parts. That's... Man, that's fascinating. Also, I don't know. I only need one more piece of lithium, so... Also, I like how they're pretty much going like, Hey, you want lithium? Jelly shrimp! Get fucked! <laughs> how about... How about I don't? Plenty of lithium here. Plenty of other fish in the sea. Can't... Can't convince me to go back down there. Not at all. But hey, I got I got all I need now, but I know I'm gonna need more because he's saying I need plasteel to make the the cyclops. So dang it, now I'm gonna need more. So maybe I should look while I'm here. Ah oh, man, everything's just ramming into my ship today. That's basically that's the goal of the fish today. Mind you, that's been the goal of the fish every other fucking day. So who knows at this point? I knew I should have been picking this stuff up. Of course, now I'm not looking for it. I see modification station fragments fucking everywhere. Ain't that just the way? Ain't that just the way it be? Also, someone uh, noticed that in the names of the... Ooh, someone noticed in the names of the places that I can visit is actually in brackets how deep they are. Not just how far away they are. So, I don't know why I never clocked that. <laughs> like, it's so simple. It's so obvious as well. It's like right there, but it was one of those things I just simply overlooked. So there you go. You had your plot dump for the day. Let's go back and make this damn upgrade. Born free. Ah, home sweet home. All right, I also got to repair this. Because it had a few bumps on the way here. <laughs> Alright, so. Now we have to make the plasteel ingot. Mind you, what do I need to make it? Also, we have another thing that we can look at. Uh, ah, I need one of these. Okay. Thankfully, we picked up a lot of titanium on our travels, so. That ain't a problem. We also picked up a lot of diamond, too, which was nice. Plasteel! There we go. Oh, wait, no. Getting ahead of myself, almost ran off, thinking it was the way of old where I could just run off and, and it would get put in my inventory. Okay. Oh, enameled glass, right. Almost forgot about the most important part, or arguably one of the most important parts. The enameled glass. Glassy ass. Alright, let us enamel this glass. 
We gotta make the glaze first. Do is it two per? Oh no, it's just one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that should be it. That should be everything. I just need to go and get the actual uh, thing. Here we are. Grab this boy. Crush depth now 200 meters. Mark two. Yes. Put it in. 500 meters. Oh, man. Man. That was a big upgrade. Wow. That was more than just 100 extra. That's awesome. All right. Sweet. Also, drink up because I need the juice. All right. I'm going to put these in there. Put some of the lithium in there for later. No doubt. I'm going to need it. So yeah, we got some diamonds, we got lots of batteries, which is probably... I'll probably bring one with me, just in case. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm thinking, let me quickly go and get something to eat, because I'm gonna run out of food otherwise. And then, I wanna... I wanna go to the... Blood Kelp? Actually, I don't know now. Maybe I should go to the, uh... Degassi Habitat, because we can go even deeper into the Grand Reef now, which is something that we couldn't do prior. Because of, you know, limitations. So, oh shit. That would be awesome, actually. Yeah, let's go there. Oh my god. I can't wait to be eaten by... Ooh. I can't wait to be eaten by a ghost leviathan. Oh, green boy. No, I don't want a green boy. I don't actually know if that's, like, a thing. But, uh... Here, come here. Come here. I don't want to get even more infected. Look at that green boy. He's all like, ew, ew, icky. You know, I should also make a second area for this so I can grow some stuff in here as well as make the water purifier thing. Actually, what do I need to make that? What do I actually need to make the water purifier or the water whatever it was? You know what I mean, right? The, yeah, this. Oh, aerogel. I still don't know how to make aerogel. Like, I don't know what that requires of me, so I guess I haven't got whatever it is that I need for it. So, that's fine. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, cooking food. <laughs> Getting myself distracted is what I'm doing. Cooking food up. Gotta eat my favorite fish. These fish are my favorite ones because they, they heal a lot. Oh. They're the same, okay. I, I thought they were better. I guess they're the same. Okay, well, screw me, right? I should also put some fish in the... in the tank. Okay, might as well head for the Degasi. The Degasi <clears throat> is a place of interest, especially what with the current storyline we've been following, and I'm curious to see if the third data log is there, because we haven't heard that third one, and that's a very specific... That's a very specific thing that we haven't heard from that yet. Now, going out this way worries me, because I don't know what's out here. Ooh, I don't... don't like it. Eh. I'm going to stay close to the edge, though. Hang on, let me quickly... I want to get the shale ones, because they have lithium and stuff in them, you know, so... Was that guy? Oh. I wonder if the big guys can get infected. Oh, God, they've got parasites here. Leeches. Okay. Wow, how far down is it? Ooh. I don't know where I am. Is this the connector to the grand, the deep grand reef? Certainly an interesting place, but I don't know, man. The sounds. Where is it? Oh, okay, it's still further on. Yeah, the sounds are always the thing that puts me off during these sections, so like these traveling moments. Oh, yeah, we are in the Deep Grand Reef. Okay. What the hell was that? Oh, it's a warper. Okay. Alright, where was, uh... Where is it? 
Hello? Where'd it go? Is, am I just blind? Hello? Oh! Oh! Woo! What'd you get? Uh, free to a good home. Oh my god, did they give me a cute fish? <laughs> oh my god. Well, dang, I need a habitat now. Oh, hello. Ruby. Nice. Yeah, I must just be blind or something, because, like, what was that, by the way? What is that? That is moon pool. I don't need any more moon pool. Another ruby here. Might as well pick it up. Mm, there we go. I'll put some in storage because I don't know. I don't need that. Also, awesome with the nutrient blocks, my dude. Thank you. Holy shit. It felt like it gave me four things, but I think it was only three. Cute fish and two nutrient blocks. Oh, oh, uh, hang on. What was the message? Here we go. Oh, it has a custom picture. Oh, my God. That's amazing. The time capsule opens with a hiss and you expect the contents of it. Inside the capsule are two nutrient blocks, a creature egg with a strangely cute embryo growing inside of it, and a small plaque holding a message in a language that is only vaguely familiar to you. Your PDA scans the plate and the translated text pops up on its screen. Please take care of me. It seems like your time on this planet may be a little less lonely now. Oh, that is adorable. That, oh, god damn, I'm pressing every wrong button. That is absolutely, god damn it, adorable. God damn it, adorable. Um, where, oh, it's still further down. Oh my god. I guess I underestimated how far down the Degasi was. Oh man, it feels really weird that I can go down this far now. Whoa. Ooh. Mate, whoa, look at this place. Oh, crab squids. Oh, crab squids. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, ooh, it's around the base. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, there's warpers. Ah, fuck. God damn it. Hey, fuck you, buddy. Wait, where'd I go? Oh, there I am. What is this? Uranite crystal. What? Alright. I'm getting little radiation things. Somewhere in this area. Unable to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. Okay. Neat, I suppose. Alright. Let's park up here. Whoop. And head inside. Oh, oh! Yes! Yes! Now we can make that. Oh, hello. Cyclops shield generator. Fancy. Ooh. We're getting a lot of really neat stuff. Is this number three? No, this is nine. Whoa. I have had it with you risking our lives. Oh, stowage chief. The kid can't Ooh. kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. Boss, tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige. It's coming in alive. It means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. But we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bard, Torigal has disembarked the habitat. Bard, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I knew you can hear me. Ooh, doesn't Chief. sound good. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! Ooh. Whoa, mate. Blueprint acquired. Okay, another PDA. 
Eight. Ah. Oh. Margaret, Maida has boarded the habitat. What are you so happy about, Maida? Say, kid, I brought you some. Is that a leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stay in chat if you'd like. No? Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord, or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation. <laughs> Dang. Man, I'm finding so much stuff here. Open storage. Oh shit, oh god, that takes a lot. Carry all. Wait, what was in there? Was there anything in there? No, there wasn't anything in there. But I can put stuff in there. Can Does that like... Can I, like, carry the bag with the stuff in it? Bag is not empty, cannot pick up. That'd be no, then. Do I want... And what's this? Swim charge fins. Oh, shit, boy. Oh, picture frame. I actually wanted this. This is good. This is a good time right here. Yeah. Oh, what was that? Carry all inventory full, but I can open it. Oh, it's empty still. Okay. All right, what's this one? Seven. Please, stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, then. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our <gasps> genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? To find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials. Equipment. Just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Fuck. Integrating new PDA data. Shell sack? Oh, God. And I'm out. New blueprint acquired. Okay, up there, there we go. Ooh, yeah, I ain't sticking around here. My god. Woo! Alright. Yeah, funnily enough, the people were like, oh just wait. I mean, yeah, I hate crab squids too. Don't get me wrong. Nothing is still as bad as that one down there. Has we still not found the third one? Yeah, no, we still haven't. Came out of nowhere. An alien kraken, bigger than a cyclops, tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. I told her. I said others would come. The rupture threw me clear of the habitat. And the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, neither appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that Welcome beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then, Dang. I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hoped maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now I... I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. Dang. Marguerite's a fucking badass, though. Jesus! Went down swinging. Ooh, boy! I wasn't, I wasn't expecting this episode to just be like the plot dump episode or like the backstory episode. It's really interesting to hear their stories though. And like how they found out what's going on and what happened and that. 
I still don't know what half of this shit is, though. <laughs> Maybe I should scan it. Gel sack. Potato sick. Uh, I want to keep getting these, because I don't know. It, they seem like they're plentiful, though. But I don't know if they're going to be rare later or something that I need and, like, I, you know, my, my useful to not have to come back and get them. What the fuck was that? Is that Ghost Leviathan? See, I don't know. No, that sounded too roary to be a... Ooh, what am I hearing? <gasps> sea Treaders! Yes! My boys! These guys are awesome! Look at them! Oh my god. They have like little pathways they follow. Ah, oh, yeah. They're so cool looking. They're passive for the most part. If you lock into them a bunch, then they will come after you, but they just mind their own business and make some cool noises. They're really cool. Actually, no, I should probably figure out if there are any other places I can go. Now that uh Moonpool again, what the fuck? Yeah, I should figure out if there are places I can go now because of this new depth. I mean, I want to go into the Blood Kelp. And there is a place in the Blood Kelp. Actually, there's stuff in the Blood Kelp that we can use. Maybe we should go towards that. That could be our next uh, next uh, mission. Survey mission. Survival. But I don't know if there's anything else in this area, at least right now, that I can use. We have a lot of ruby, which is nice, but I don't think, yeah, I don't think there's anything right now that I can, that I can make use of. Still don't know how to make aerogel, which is kind of one of the things I want to really work on finding out what it is. Oh, we have two messages we should check as well, because, um, well, how long have I been going for? All right, I'm thinking maybe we'll head back to base then. See what these two messages are, because they might give us new objectives, you know, they might give us new areas to go and explore. So, that would be nice. We've been making good progress, honestly. I feel like, with the vast size of this game, the progress we've been making has actually been pretty good. Uh, I imagine I could cut out some of the, of the travel, like now, I suppose. I could be cutting it out, but, uh, in a way, it's like part of the, part of the experience, and we kind of reflect on things, and think about what we're gonna do next. But I like it so far, I've been enjoying it. Oh, God! <laughs> ah! I love it when I KO fish. I might need to make some more storage as well, especially considering I'm gonna have like a fucking lab going on, which I think I'll make my bedroom. I'm gonna make a second floor of the, the tower. But since we got extra lithium, I'm thinking of making a reinforcement, because otherwise I feel like we're gonna start really testing the strength of the base. And I don't really wanna do that. Uh, so, probably gonna wanna make reinforcements. Boop! Yeah, boy. All right, let me just repair this again because always gets a bit rough and tumble on the way. There we go. All right, so I'm probably going to want to move some of this stuff then because I know for a fact that uh, it gets a little uh, gets a little bit cramped otherwise. All right, let's deconstruct this bad boy. Okay, and now we want to make another, but this time we're going to put it like here. <coughs> here because the ladder will go straight up here so I'll keep the prawn suit thing there anyway so what else have we actually got recently we got counters we got coffee vending machines trash cans which are actually use used as a trash can oh yeah the alien containment oh shit we need to do that oh my god yeah well, I know what I'm doing next episode, or what I'm focusing on. Yeah, we'll do... We'll focus the next episode on base expansion, because I feel like that's going to be an important part of what we want to do. Hello, what? You know what? Yeah. Since I have so many extra batteries, that's going to be useful. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Throw us a like if you did. And I'll catch you on the next episode of Subnautica. Take care. Okay, thanks. Bye. Come on!